smartphone, troubleshooting and repair. Guide to mobile phone repair. First edition. American trained expert. Introduction. Before you start. As a technician, you must understand a basic rule of business. Time is money. Whether you are boss or work for someone else, the ability to identify and isolate a fault quickly and decisively is very important to the success of your business. It requires some common sense and a little bit of focus. It also requires an understanding of the troubleshooting process and a reliable plan of uh, action. Even though the number of uh, configuration and setups are virtually unlimited, The methodology used to approach each repair is uh, always about uh, the same. This introduction is intended to isolate the concepts of basic troubleshooting and show you how to apply basic repair steps that will help you narrow the problem down before you even take a screwdriver to the mobile phone. By applying a constant technique, you can save precious time from every repair. The general troubleshooting steps. Regardless of how your particular smartphone might be, a dependable troubleshooting steps can be broken down into four basic steps. The first, define your symptoms. The second, identify and isolate the location of your problem. The third, replace the suspected component. And uh, the fourth, retest the component thoroughly to be sure that you have solved the problem. If you have not solved the problem, start again from step the first. This is a universal procedure that you can apply to any sort of troubleshooting, not just for phones. Define your symptoms. When a phone breaks down, the cause might be as simple as a loose wire or a connector, or as complicated as an IC or component failure. Before you start, you must have a good understanding of all the symptoms. 
think about the, the symptoms carefully by recognizing and understanding your symptoms it can be much easier to trace a problem to the appropriate component take the time to write down as many symptoms as you can as a technician you must often write problems and solutions for reference purposes identify and isolate before you try to isolate a problem within a piece of hardware you must first be sure that the equipment itself is causing the problem in many cases this will be fairly obvious but some situation might not be a faulty or in, improperly configure, configured configured piece of software can cause confusing system errors when you are sure that it is a system's hardware failure you can begin to identify which component fails replace because phones are designed as a sub-unit it is almost always easier to replace a sub-unit outright rather than attempt to repair the sub-unit to its component level even if you had the time to isolate defective component many parts are not interchangeable so it is better to replace the defective part than try to repair it retest When a repair is finally complete, the system must be reassembly carefully before testing it. All guards, housings, cables and shields must be replaced before final testing. If symptoms persist, you will have uh, to re-evaluate uh, the symptoms and uh, narrow the problem to another parts of the equipment. If normal operation is uh, restored in brackets or greatly improved, test the phones phones uh, various function when you can verify that the symptoms have stopped during actual operation the equipment can be re returned to service as a general rule, it is wise to let the system run for at least 24 hours to ensure that the replacement sub-assembly will not fail prematurely. Do not be discouraged if uh, the equipment uh, still uh, malfunctions 
maybe software settings and uh, device drivers may need to be updated too. If you are tired, simply walk away, clear your hand and start again by defining the current symptoms. Never continue with the repair if you are tired or frustra frustrated tomorrow is another day. Even the most experienced troubleshootings get overwhelmed from time to time. Contents Lesson 01 Basic information how cell phone works. Learning with block diagram on uh, how basically cell phone works. Lesson 02 Introduction to Basic Electronics Ohm's Law Series Circuit Parallel Circuit Identifying Electronics Components and uh, Circuit Symbols Resistors Capacitors Transistors Diodes Fuse Coils and uh, in Inductors Crystal Oscillators RF and uh, IF amplifiers and filters EMI and ESD filters lesson 03 preparing the proper tools for a repeat Repairing opening tools and tweezers, soldering and desoldering tools, tools, and multi tester, SMD. Rework stations, DC power supply, cleaning kits, reboiling kits, working table equipment. Lesson zero four safety procedures and proper handling of tools and test equipment on cell phone repair how to use and read a multimeter tester test and check up procedures on basic electronics components Lesson 05 Introduction to Reading Cell Phones Schematic Diagrams Identifying Component Symbols and uh, Layout in Schematic Diagram How to Identify Resistor Symbols and layout how to identify capacitors symbols and layout 
how to identify transistor symbols and the layout, how to identify diodes, symbols and the layout, how to identify coil symbols and the layout, how to identify integrated circuit symbols and the layout, how to identify DC to DC voltage drivers, regulators and and converter symbols and the layout how to identify EMI ESD symbols and the layout how to identify RF filter symbols and layout how to identify battery cell symbols and uh, layout how to identify power switch mouthpiece earpiece and ring tones speakers user interface symbols and layout how to identify color crystal oscillator symbols and layout how to identify fuse symbol and layout how to identify the lines and symbols on schematic diagram lesson zero six how to find and locate components on PC board, how to solder SMD components manually by hand, how to reboil BGA chips manually by hand, identifying and familiarizing familiarization of common mobile phones, components and spear parts, liquid crystal display, LCD touch screen panels, microphones, micro speakers, switches charging, pins, antennas, batteries, battery connectors, USB connectors, understanding major integrated circuits in brackets, IC on mobile phones, power management, IC, application, application processor flash IC RAM IC basic hardware handling procedures proper disassembling and assembling methods how to test mobile phone speaker buzzer or ringer how to test mobile phone microphone or mouthpiece how to test mobile phone charger voltage how to test mobile phone vibra motor how to check mobile phone battery voltage how to test power on off switch troubleshooting 
how to troubleshoot not charging issues how charging circuit works no charging response charger not supported not charging how sim circuit works insert sim card problem invalid sim card how keypad circuits works how to map and trace keypads lines understanding the led light circuits explanation on uh, how how audio circuits work mouthpiece earpiece buzzer ringer headset vibromotor how lcd display circuit works understanding how rf circuit works basic mobile phones hardware repair techniques basic on software handling what is flashing what is unlocking part one introduction how cell phone works as a basic part of a technician it is fully advice that he she must have a basic knowledge of what technology he or she come up to before we proceed further please take a simple brief to enhance your knowledge about the field of uh, what we are going to discuss hereafter now first come first we all ever wonder how does the cell phone works have you ever wondered how a cell phone works what makes it different from a regular phone what's inside of it and how do they create it what do all those terms like p c s g s m c d m a and t d m a mean to start with one of the most interesting things about a cell phone is that it is actually a radio an extremely sophisticated radio but a radio nonetheless nonetheless the telephone was invented by Alexander Graham Bell in uh, 1876 and wireless communication can trace its roots to the invention of the radio by Nikolai Tesla in the 1880s in brackets formally presented in 1894 by a young Italian named uh, Guglielmo Marconi 
It was only natural that these two great technologies would eventually be combined. If you prepare to take a deep knowledge, I recommend you to visit this site and have a brief fundamentals of wireless communication. A basic technician all need is just to have a simple understanding about cell phones. We do not need extreme and uh, intimate deep meaning about it. That's because what we are going to take around here is to fix what those various mobile phones company created and built to make it as simple as that.